All right, what's going on guys so in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys all of my settings for the new season vector glare as well as uh my peripherals and all of that good stuff so i did want to mention that i did hit champion last season people ask me every time i make one of these videos if i don't mention it it will ask so i did hit champion last season with that being said move on to the settings options general for the most part all this is going to be personal preference you guys can turn on whatever you want on here matchmaking preferences this is mostly for like your t-hunt settings personally i like to play bomb and i think i actually have emerald planes on which i want off yes turn this off uh, i pretty much just play coastline and that is about it i do play plane sometimes but that's pretty much all i play is coastline or plane on bomb for t-hunt so if you're interested in my t-hunt settings that is what i do i also recommend we'll get to it later but you can also turn headshots only on for t-hunt i do recommend turning that on but like i said we'll get to that a little bit later all right as for the hud settings you guys can go ahead and pause i'm gonna go ahead and scroll through and you guys can pause on whatever you'd like to look at i know people always ask me why are you playing with points off why are you playing with this off you know this and that the reason mostly is is just personal preference like for example i play with outlines off you guys can turn that off if you'd like if you're a little bit less experienced with the game i would keep them on but if you've been playing for a few years i'd recommend turning them off it's just a distraction if you have them on but if you don't have much experience you may end up team killing your teammates a little bit so you might want to keep that on but yeah mostly everything is just personal preference here that or it just you know habits from my like comp days like for example score and versus updates right here i have these off your score updates is going to be points people always ask me in these videos how do you turn points off this is points so it's called score updates i have this off from my comp days i don't play comp anymore though so big f i just kept it on uh audio settings so i have my windows volume at 100 and i have my master volume at 70. no specific reason for this i just have it on that no clue why dialogue on 100 music on zero highly recommend turning your music to zero there's three dynamic ranges you can choose from hi-fi tv and night mode personally i like night mode you can see the descriptions here you guys can pause that and read it choose for yourself if you'd like in practice i personally like night mode better but again that is personal preference and the rest of this is what it is push to talk on of course display settings so i have three monitors the main one that i play on is a 24 inch 0.5 ms response time 240 hertz 1920 by 1080 monitor wow that is a mouthful that's the monitor that i play on and then i have two other monitors that i have mounted vertically they are the same brand same exact monitor but they are going to be 240 hertz 1440p uh or actually no 165 hertz two um 27 inches sorry i'm getting all jumbled up here and 1440p so i've got those two on my left and my right i've got like the the tie fighter setup going on here resolution 1920 by 1080 as i said make sure to play full screen my refresh rate is 240 as i said before aspect ratio is personal preference personally i feel like 43 is the goat make sure you have v-sync off fps limit you can set this to whatever you like personally i like it off widescreen letterbox definitely want off fov another personal preference option i like it on 84. hud display area there's like a bug right now where your hud gets cut off from your screen if you don't have your hud display area on 80 so that's the reason for that brightness i have on 70 and my monitor settings are default the only thing that i change in my nvidia control panel is my digital vibrancy is set to 75 and i think the default is 50. moving on to graphic settings let's go ahead and check this out uh nvidia low latency i probably should have on but i have off for some reason um i don't know much about it so i'm not going to mess with it i'm going to keep it as is texture quality i have this on very high um i think very high is is fine I could turn it to ultra, but you can see it takes up a lot more of my GPU if I do that. If you keep it on very high, it still looks great and doesn't take up so much of your GPU. Texture filtering, linear, LED quality on ultra, shading low, shadows medium. A great example of why you want shadows on medium is going to be on rafters in garage. If you're playing rafters in garage on clubhouse and there's someone swinging your door outside, you're going to see their shadow before you see them giving you time to pre-fire and prepare for them to swing now if you had your shadows set to anything below medium you're not going to get those dynamic shadows dynamic shadows are like the players moving right so you're not going to get that shadow if you have it set to low so you want to make sure you have this on at least medium i would keep it at medium just because the shadows going up any higher do take up a lot of your fps 
functions on low, VFX low, and the rest of this turned off. If you are getting low FPS, you guys could experiment with TAA and you guys could play around with the render scaling and the, and the uh, TAA sharpness. This could help you get a lot more FPS. It's something I had to do back when I had a bad PC. I had to play on TAA and I think 25 and like 100 or something like that. Um, just because my PC was so bad, I needed the extra FPS, but it does get a little bit blurry, so I would not recommend it. Controls. Oh my goodness. I've not played on this account since I tried 100 100. So my sensitivity, I know it's going to be different in the, in the description. It's going to be different in my Twitch chat. The reason for this is I change my sensitivity so often, and it's much easier to change it on Twitch than it is YouTube. So my current sense is 65 65. Literally 10 hours ago, I was on 60, 60 and a week before that I was on 45, 45. And then a week before that I was on 55, 55. So like I changed my sense very frequently. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is what it is. So my sense is going to change all the time. I do play 800 DPI and I'm using a G pro super light, the pink version. I have 30 party skates on it. I think I'm using the tiger ice skates on it. Ron put, make sure I have that off. It's too buggy for me personally. I like it off. You could try it on, but for me personally, there's too many problems with it. So I keep that off. Mouse ADS sensitivity. You guys can go ahead and pause and look at whatever you'd like to look at. When I do change my sense, I always keep my ADS sense the exact same. So this should be the same no matter what. I may change it eventually, but since, you know, the past year or so, I've kind of kept it the same, if not longer. So I should stick to be the same. Mouse scroll, I have this disabled. Gadget deployment, you want to have this on advanced. Same with drone deployment. I do play toggle aim. That's when you right click your mouse once to ADS and you stay ADS even if you let go of the button. I personally enjoy having that on, so that's what I play on. Lean on toggle, sprint on hold, crouch toggle, prone toggle, walk toggle. Controls, I'm going to quickly scroll through this and you guys can go ahead and pause on whatever you'd like to look at. I don't want to spend too much time on it. My settings are mostly default here, but like I said, if you'd like to look at something specific, you guys can go ahead and pause. The rest are just spectators, so we don't need to worry about that. Privacy settings is just the, the stream mode stuff, pretty self-explanatory, nothing to show there. I do play on the purple reticle and 100% opacity, and I play on my color being blue, the enemy color being red, and that is about it for my settings uh screen shake i like i said i haven't played on this account since the new season make sure to turn this off but that is going to be it for my settings i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did if you found it helpful make sure to like the video it really would mean a lot to me it's going to boost this video into the algorithm help out more people so it would mean a lot i do daily videos on the channel so feel free to subscribe turn those notifications on if you have not so that you don't miss out on another video thank you so much for watching and have a great day